Today, October 13th, is National Train Your Brain Day. So what does that mean? How do you actually exercise your brain and what are the benefits? Gerontologist Beverly Sanborn with Belmont Village Senior Living in San Diego joins us on the floor here to talk about what training your brain looks like and why it's so important as we age. Uh, Beverly Sanborn, thanks for joining us today. We appreciate it. Thank you for having me. Oh, okay, so can we help save our memory? What is training the brain? Well, training the brain is a, an actual commitment to a lifestyle change that uh, enhances the functioning and the agility of the brain. As you get older, you do lose speed of processing. You do kind of slow down with some of the memory processing. You can't handle a lot of distractions. But you can train your brain to be far, far more agile. And in fact, uh, research shows that you probably can delay the onset. You can't prevent entirely, but you can delay the onset of symptoms of uh, Alzheimer's disease. So it's very important to do this brain training. And incidentally, Alzheimer's disease, when the symptoms appear, the actual process of deterioration starts about 25 years prior to that. So when you want to get in, no one knows if we're going to have it. And so in getting into a brain training program, you want to really start in middle age. Uh, you, you don't want to wait too long. So what, what does that look like? If you know, I'm in my 50s, this is something I should start now. What would a, a good brain training program for someone like me who has a family history of dementia, what, what should I be doing? Well, especially if you have a family history, you want to do it. Well, it's, I think of it as a three-legged stool. And there are three main areas that you have to concentrate on. And it, you might be surprised to know that the main thing you can do to train your brain and to protect your brain, your memory, is exercise. It's just unequivocally the most important thing you can do. Aerobic exercise and weights, weight training, both of those are highly correlated with maintaining your brain. So you need a, uh, you need a, an exercise program, you need a brain training of uh, word games and and practicing organizing ideas and cognitive training and the research also shows that you need to stay connected to social groups the we saw that during covid you know the problems with seniors being isolated and they really declined quite rapidly under those conditions mm -hmm. you need to be connected to social groups i think at belmont you know we've put together a total protocol and it does work we we track and trend we follow uh the residents and they they uh, they maintain their brains it does appear that they are maintaining their functioning certainly at the highest level and beverly we have we have less than a minute less left but yeah. you know so how much time should someone be doing it and is this something they can incorporate family members are there activities to do this together and how long should we devote to it well you should really devote it uh, it, it, I would say uh, a good portion of your day, and you can do a lot of simple things. You can, for example, what you want to do is force your brain in two ways. You want to force your brain to do something new. It has to be new to the brain, and it has to be a mental stretch. So one, one thing you can all do, it could be kind of fun, really, is to stop using cliches. Don't use cliches. Use creative language that will expand your thinking. You can also read. I know this is kind of new in today's world, but we can read and then discuss what you read. It's very important that you verbalize uh, that, what you what you read or that, what you saw or what you engaged in. That you process it. I love it. I was going to say, you know what you said earlier, healthy body, healthy mind. That's a thing, but that's a cliche. So I'm going to come up with something better. But Beverly Sanborn with Belmont Senior Living here in San Diego, Belmont uh, Village Senior Living. I want to thank you for your time talking to us on Train Your Brain Day. Very important topic. Thank you so much for what you're doing. Thank you.